somewhere around 2018, that year we made the million. In September, we ended up pitching the Sharks. And that's when we knew we were on track to do a million, but we still weren't really sure. Our first six-figure month, we were like, if this keeps going the way it's going, like we're definitely going to hit a million at the end of the year. But we weren't. We were still weren't sure. Was your valuation based on the growth rate? And so were you like, oh, if we, if we grow another 10x, we're going to be a $10 million company next year? <laughs> no, we didn't even. Our valuation wasn't even, in my right opinion, wasn't even that high. We had based it on a million in sales for the year. And we had done like a, originally we had went in with like a $7 million valuation. Yeah. And yeah. then the the shark, not the shark, but the, the people who are advising us around the show suggested that we go lower. So it was like, okay, fine, like we went lower. We didn't be them on it, but we just ended up just going a little bit lower. Um, we did a $4 million valuation for Robert. And Robert's offer was a $2 million valuation, keeping in mind that we'd already made like almost a half a million for the year. And so I was like, this is not fair. I was like, we're not, I was like, this sucks. I was like, we're not doing this. And the night before we had made, we had our like walk away numbers. Like we're not gonna give up more than 15% of the company. It does not matter what they offer. Uh, it's, it's a hard and fast no. And Robert would negotiate and he asked for 20%. And so we just, we ended up walking away. But later that year, I got offers from like angel syndicates for $7 million valuation on the same data, you know? And so it was just like, I knew that I was right in that valuation. But we ended up um, getting an offer from the CEO of LinkedIn, Jeff shortly Wiener. after Jeff Wiener. He's a former CEO. He just stepped down yeah. for a million, 1.2 million. And so I'm skipping backstage capital though. I was just, I was gonna go back to it. You can finish. Backstage finish capital story. gave us $25,000 that year. We back when it. we were actually still doing the uh, boxes. They uh, were, okay. first started with us back when we were doing the boxes. That's Arlen Hamilton. And she's been a mentor since then. And so they gave us 25K on a convertible note. The month that we made $30,000. So in top of 2018, we cut off all the subscription box. We had $3,000 in sales in January. Um, and then by March, we were doing $30,000 a month. And we were just like overwhelmed. We we're like, we don't know what to do. We need, we know we need help. We need, we need money. We need to get out of our kitchen. Um, and Arlen came through with the 25K that helped us move into a new manufacturing facility that allowed us to then scale to that million. Yeah. That's great. To go back to Shark Tank, we had we had Bad Birdie on recently who actually almost, or did did do a deal with Robert specifically. Mm. And he he was telling us, apparently there's like a, there's, a, there's some, I think it's a girl he said that keeps a Google sheet of every single episode, every single person, the valuation and whether it won or not. And basically what he shared with me was every shark cuts your valuation in half <laughs> every single time. That's what they said. It's like, that's exactly what they do. They just cut it in half. And so when he went in, he was prepared for that cut because statistically they were going to do it anyway, no, no matter what you set your valuation to. And if mm, you set it too high, they kind of, they laugh at you. They, so it's not good. But if you set it at something realistic, they're going to cut it in half no matter what which is interesting. That's good yeah. to know. I wish we had known that at least initially. I'm glad we did it though, trouble. because we might have made adjustments to our offer to get a deal mm -hmm. versus right. valuing it at what we personally valued it at. Um, yeah. And ultimately, Mark, uh, Robert said he didn't know anything about the industry. Yeah. So it's like, now, he literally said, I don't know anything about it, but you guys sound like great entrepreneurs. The numbers don't lie. Everything looks good. I want to yeah. make an offer because I believe in you. Um, but I can't really help you. And at that point, we needed more than just money. Like most, you gotta new justify the, yeah. yeah. Like most new entrepreneurs, or even even people who don't have like a big network of people, it's the information is almost just as important, if not more important, than the money. Like knowing what opportunities are going to be good or not, or getting the right kind of people in our network. Those things have just been just as valuable as any check that we've gotten over the years. So what happened after you guys aired? So you air, what happens to the website? Does it blow up? You get three weeks notice, right? So we okay. had to get like a couple hundred thousand so we could afford inventory. So the month we air, the month before we air, we did about 300,000, 295 or something like that in sales. And then the month that we air, we did about 900,000. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.